Welcome to Easyish Kitchen! Today guys, I will show you how to cook caldereta and I got this recipe from my mom. I really hope you'll enjoy the recipe. So what are we waiting for? Let's start! I think most of the Filipinos really love this dish. It's a classic dish and it's a must try. It also gives comforts when you eat it. I use 1 kg of beef on this recipe. Let's marinate the meat with 3 tablespoons of soy sauce and 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. This will add more flavor to the meat and also help it become more tender. Let it soak for around 30 minutes. On a hot pan, put the oil and let's saute the chopped onions and garlic. Saute it until the garlic is brown and the onion is translucent. Now it's time to add the meat. Do not throw the liquid that is on the marinade because we will still be using that later on. So just set it aside for now. Stir well and let it simmer for around 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, let's add other spices and one bay leaf. One half teaspoon of ground black pepper. One teaspoon of fine salt. Dissolve one beef cube in a one cup of hot water. Then after that, pour it on our meat. Remember the liquid from the marinade? Let's add that in. Stir well and cover it. Let it boil for one hour in medium-low heat. While waiting, let's pan fry the vegetables. Why do we do this? Well, the simple step will give our vegetables a good texture and also it will help it maintain its shape. After one hour, it's now time to add the secret ingredients to a creamy sauce. Pour one cup of tomato sauce. Again, cover it and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Before adding the other ingredients, double check if the meat is already tender. By the way, if you are in a hurry, you can also use a pressure cooker to cook the meat. You can use chicken, pork, or goat for this recipe. I'm a spicy food lover, so I'm adding some chilies on this. Cook gently for another 5 minutes. I'm using a canned liver spread on this, but you can also use a mashed chicken or beef liver. This is like an upgraded version of the usual caldereta that we used to have. Okay, now let's add the 3 tablespoons of peanut butter. Since I tasted this recipe from my mom, it has been my favorite. Add more water depending on your preference of the thickness of the sauce. Just look at that. Look at the sauce. It's really thick and creamy. Okay, let's put the vegetables in. Cover and let it simmer for 10 minutes in low heat. And lastly, let's add the grated cheddar cheese. Cover let it simmer for just 2 minutes until the cheese melts. Isn't that yummy? Let's eat guys! Thank you so much guys for watching. Please, before heading out, do not forget to subscribe and hit on that notification bell below. Until next time, God bless you all.